Hi everyone, welcome to the full flag void tutorial part 1. I'm Fred and I'll talk here about model loop, big buffer and tempo. Let's have a look to the way model loop works. The microphones in my piano are connected to input module. Open model module by clicking its edit button. There we find big buffer. Input signal is recorded into big buffer. Depending on the launch mode you choose, you will set the sample of big buffer that will be the model loop. Let's have a try by selecting a sample of big buffer and click Selection to Mother. Lagvoid generates markers on audio transitions. You can navigate through those markers by using the arrows on both sides of waveform. Let's have a look to the time base. Its length is mother loop length. The tempo is set so that metrics fit the time base. Now you can lock other MIDI clock compatible devices on Mother Loop. To do so, click the Stop and Play and Next One Transport command. If you modify tempo, Mother and Looper will be stretched. The tempo panel is green, which means it is locked to Mother Loop. If you modify tempo while locked to Mother, the panel turns red. You can modify tempo in many ways. MIDI clock generator has been designed to allow any changes while playing, raising towards new tempos instead of jumping, allowing slave devices to follow. Click speed reset to go back to original tempo. With Vagvoid, you can change metrics while playing, but you should resync your MIDI device by clicking the Resync on Next One button. Well, let's have another look to the entire sequence. That's all for this tutorial. Bye-bye.